Yo, Base Out here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite cookie of Cookie Run Power Adventures, Crushed Pepper Cookie. So my background is I like to play the punchy, kicking character, martial arts. Uh, so every time that's the specific class for it, that's my preference. Uh, so in Cookie Run Kingdom is Wildberry. <laughs> so let's just go over his skills, his passive. Uh, we we'll go over his builds later, um, the way that it works. So his basic gameplay is that he puts up shields on himself and his teammates. And when he has the shield, he gets like damage bonus buff and stuff like that. And he has like a gauge that charges up. And then if you do a charge attack, he has a charge attack that gives him shields. And, and from there, he actually his damage scales from his max HP. So, we keep that in mind, you're gonna be stacking a lot of that. So, his passive. Every successful attack, including his skills and stuff, increases his gauge. And when his gauge is full, if you do a max charge up attack, it gives him and his ally shields. And the shield strain is 8% of his Crash Pepper Cookie's max HP, and that lasts for 18 seconds. And this thing is actually pretty good. So we look at his basic attack, he does a forehead combo and everything based on the max HP. And then his charge up attack, which is when he charges up attack, minimum is 15, but if you max it out, 500%. So the longer you charge, the more damage it does. So it's like from 15 to 500. It actually does quite a lot of damage when he's charged. Okay, 500%, hmm. <laughs> so we have his special. His special is that he does the flare of blows. And it has a 10 second cooldown, and each of the hits does like 10% max HP, and then the final hit does 24%. So you want to land that there. Uh, his dash is just a roll forward, and his ultimate is that he jumps in the air and he charges down. It does a big AoE damage, and after doing AoE, he gets this super shield. This is a fire shield, and this fire blazing heart effect gets that happens as well when he does the shield and it actually does like a fire aura around him and everything gets hit periodically while near the shield and that that damage is four percent of his max hp every time just ticking off and his fire shield stream is 10 percent of his max hp and this skill damage is 69.9 percent nice right nice so why don't we go over his uh his tensions real quick promotion my bad <laughs> So, his 2 star is that it, it, shield stream increased by 30%. Uh, this one's just a stack increase, 8% to everything. And this one is when he has a shield, 20% extra fire damage. So that's pretty much just straight up 20% damage, right? Because he does all fire. And then here at 5 star, when he has a shield, he does 1% of his max HP extra to everything. Just, just in general, when he has a shield up. Okay. So that's pretty good. But let's just go over his his card that he won to we just go straight into the build right his card of course obviously you want his card and then his card pretty much increases his shield by 18 percent and when he has a shield he instantly gives his spicy status and that increases his damage by 20 percent so i actually have a two star right so uh one star this is 15 i believe and this is 20 percent so it went 15 to 18 percent and then 25 percent so then you just tank the make you tankier and you do extra more damage all right so uh actually let's just enhance this and then we can see three star 20 percent and then you get spicy up 30. Ooh, so that's the best card best in slot okay if you don't have this card it's not too bad you just aim for something that has hp so before i was running the muscle card Right, gives HP um, and also shield strength stuff. So anything that gives that, this gives HP. You can use this for the time being. Right, it doesn't have some units, so it's kind of weaker. So if you get the muscle, muscle one's easier to grab. All right, I haven't actually looked at these to be honest. This one, only the twenty percent. Last resort, you know, you go for that one. The unique ability doesn't do anything for you. This one's probably better. So you probably want welcome gift for if you want if you don't have anything and then you need a common card 20% and 2% to heal life steal. This is also not bad sweeping wins, but I would think the the other one would be better. The one with the let's go back up here, the one with the nuts welcome gift, <laughs> and then muscle man, and then you will probably go from there. You would just go straight into his card. 
Okay. And for equipment, like I said, you want HP. Um, you can probably go like HP crit, but I think HP would probably be better because everything just scale by HP, like the 500%. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, um... If you can get HP set on here, it's not too bad. Uh, we, why don't we go to the index, actually? Alright, so obviously for his weapon, you want his own weapon. It gives shield stream and HP. Alright, and then if you don't have anything else... Anything. This one is probably the better one for the HP. I don't think everything else gives HP. Elemental damage isn't too bad. Alright, that's not a bad choice. Uh, for blues, this one, Sturdy Sword. It gave me so many. <laughs> and then this is probably the green one, the Rusty Long Sword. And then the hammer, if you don't have anything. Okay. So, why don't I look at the sets? So, you want to probably go for the preset. It gives you HP and then the damage set, HP and shield strength. The healing is useless to you. Uh, but I think the best in slot for super epic is the Stroud Trader creep. 20% and you get elemental res when enemies near you when you have a shield. And you get 20% more shield strength, just in general. And it gives defense, not too bad, right? Damage receives HP, but this also gives HP percentage. And elemental damage. So I would say you can go with either one of these. This gives you 40% HP, right? And it gives you shield strength, but the this the pants is like totally useless to you, except for the HP. Like everything else here, the unique ability is useless. This one, at least defense, you can use it, right? It's not everything on here is useful to you. This one, you have the healing part that's like completely useless. Uh, and then we got the body wear. Obviously, just go for the defense, right? So, um, HP, I mean, HP right here. So, if you don't know, each equipment have their default abilities. Always going to be the same. Weapon is attack. Um, unless you're the signature weapon. Uh, edge gear is elemental damage, right? Everything give elemental. Body wear is defense. And leg is HP. So if you can get double set HP, that would be good. Right? Most of the time, it's just damage received. There are... I think there was a pants. This one's probably the epic one that you want to go for. Uh, pants did have HP, HP. Somewhere. This one. The green one. <laughs> that's what you can start off with. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. Uh, and enjoy the rest of the fights, yo. When I just tank the freaking raid bosses, man. Easy mode. Give me extra shields. Boom. Don't even need a guard. Don't even uh, the mechanics. Uh, the only thing I need to guard is uh, TNT. Stay on top of them. Nice try, boy. This is the only one I need to care about. The TNT. That's multi hit. Business.
Go, 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 go. Don't care, don't care. <laughs> 